valuable opinions make people rich <laughs> and maybe not even rich it just you know it it <clears throat> you know you might just be able to make a living you might not even make anything you may make two cents off your opinion and that's how valuable it was but then again it's so easy for you to have an opinion and post it online and other people to see that and adopt the same opinion and people do that all the time they steal your opinion all the time if you go on twitter and post a bunch of opinions they're going to get stolen and people will just take them and they'll make them look you know the make might make them they'll integrate it into into to what they think and that's what happens is you start stacking them up, you stack them up, you stack them up, and you get to the top of the intellectual pyramid, and it's essentially a fucking pyramid scheme. Scam. You know what I'm saying? Because, really, I mean, when people give you an opinion, it's gotta be interesting for you to like it, but other people might not see any value in that opinion, because they're just, you know, they've seen that kind of stuff before. They don't need to to to, to hear someone talk about you know, the certain things. And so what it really comes down to is just you saying it in a good way or finding something new. And I'm not, I'm not saying that nothing's original and you can't be original and you can't have opinions that are valuable. That's not what I'm saying at all. But at the same time to certain people, your opinions might not be valuable at all. And then, and then, you know, so you kind of, whenever I say that, you might think of just me, like people that just express and sell their thoughts and opinions, you know, write articles or internet videos or whatever the fuck they're doing. They do it in a unique way to make things funny to, you know, you know, point, you know, bring out that irony. And that's really a job. That's, that's putting in groundwork right there. You know, <clears throat> trying to bring something out that people never seen before, you know, it's just like, especially if you, you know, if you watch like every, if you watched a ton of shows, right, right, a lot of them, and you kept doing that, you kept doing that, you're going to learn stuff from those shows. You're going to learn stuff about social interactions. You're going to learn a lot, a lot of shit. But sometimes the stuff in the shows is just bullshit, and it's kind of useless because it's in a, it's in a fictional setting. Um, and, and that's why, you know, people tend to not really like fiction, and fiction could be for kids because it's like, get real. I want to I wanna get in that substance and really feel it and really, you know, learn something about myself or, like, see something in a different way or literally like the popular perspective, the popular way of looking at things right now, <clears throat> you know? And so that can really be all, be all really it is. And really, you know, I think what, what it's really about is the struggle. People want to see a struggle and that's kind of what drama is. That's what really brings people in. So to have a struggle, you have to have a purpose. You have to have passion. You have to have something you like, you know, you like, and, and that kind of makes you kind of, you know, wiggle your way towards whatever the hell you're you're doing, and and that's what people love to fucking see. You know, and occupies them. They want to believe in someone. They want to see something happen. They want to see the dream happen. People want to see the dream happen for you, man. They really do. They love fucking watching that because then whenever it happens for you, it happens for them inside of their own. You know, it happens in in their head too. They they share it with you. You know, and that's why you got a lot of people that they, they don't even they're not too worried about being competitive. They're more just like being fans and, and they like whatever they like. And you got a lot of different things across the board. And independent entertainment has really, you know, became kind of like a cancer to mainstream television and a lot of those different things. But maybe not necessarily. There's there's a lot of ways to really dice that up. <laughs> but, you know, whenever it comes down to it, it's like the way you're saying, are you on top of your game are you like, are you really like putting in the groundwork to like research things or learn new things or really like mold yourself with different opinions? And what I found out is, what I found out is, you know, in order to learn stuff, you have to not hate certain people. But it's weird how some people will make themselves hateable to you. So it's almost like you won't learn what they're trying to give you. Because everyone, even if they look like they're just like an entertainer for some kids, I feel like they have something to offer. And, you know, I think, you know, sometimes like even the whole thing about just, you know, being not intelligent and just being just being dumb or just not even really having expectations of intellectual property can be valuable. But it's it's hard when you get older. You need to respect something. You need you need something harder. You need some hard liquor. You know, you need the heroin. You don't want to smoke weed. You want the heroin. You know what I'm saying? And, that, that, you know, who, who knows, you know. I mean, honestly, I got older and, and I don't even care about fucking doing any drugs whatsoever. I think that, you know, I just, I don't know, I guess I'm not a drug addict, but, you know, I'm just like, hey, 
I'd rather do other things. <clears throat> On that note, you know, and, and, and that's the part about learning stuff, too, is, you know, you have a million different things you could be doing and you don't care about what people have to say because they're trying to sell you. And that's the thing is, you know, people are always trying to sell you something and sometimes they're not. Sometimes they have something good to say and it's the way they say it and the way that they're going to deliver this thought process to you. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I'm trying to do in my videos. The thing is, though, for me is, you know, I'm trying to be interesting in new ways or different ways that, you know, that people didn't see before. And that's so hard to really innovate sort of a modern way of speaking and, and way of talking about things and reacting to things. But maybe it's easier than you think. You just need to find something and build a little fucking build a little story up and just put put in your uh, put it put in that passionate grind, put in that, you know, make it real really do what you believe in man you know but then some people just like being a fucking a-hole or they just like being it living in their own little whatever living in their own little fantasy you know what i'm saying and, and that's fine too <clears throat> but you just mix these opinions together and you got to be willing to like learn stuff and be interested in something why are you interested in something and, and that's kind of the thing too like for me like i've written so much stuff and what I learned is I did pretty much depleted my subconscious mind. Like everything came out of my mind and I put all my thoughts down. And what I realized was whenever I did that was the only way to really write new stuff was to learn more stuff. And the more you learn, the more you start tapping and, and capping out and capping and tapping and tapping. The older you get, the smarter you get. And some people are able to do that at a younger age, you know, but it's like whenever you learn something, you forget it and you don't practice it. And that's kind of the whole culture, I think, of it, of like keeping opinions out there and kind of keeping on that, you know, keeping aware because we're people and we need to be smart. We need to understand stuff. But a lot of people, they don't give a shit. They're not the same. You know, they're not focused. You know, they, they don't even want to go take a college course or they can't even go to college. They don't even believe themselves enough to do that shit. And it's just like, you know, just stare at the answers long enough and you'll remember them. You know, that's what I'm saying. Like, if you just have them on the wall, sit there and recite them, you know, like like you love doing it. You know, if you really put in the effort, you can do it. You know what I'm saying? You can get like if that's what you want to do, college degree on another note, the whole college degree thing is like, <clears throat> you know, I know a guy who got a college degree, but he was better off being a manager at a at a <clears throat> at a fast food restaurant. You know, his college degree like was like he made more money as a fast food manager. So, you know, he it, it was it wasn't you know, it wasn't like a doctor's degree or anything, but you know, um, so, I mean, if you think about that right there, though, like your the value of your opinion, the valuable, the, the value of your intelligence, you know what I'm saying? And sometimes it's like you're, you're just better just where you're at and not even doing anything like like me. Like, do I really need to go read a bunch of shit to make a video? Not necessarily. I could just talk about some stuff. But um, but but eventually you do that enough and you're just going to, you know, you need to you need to dive in. You need to dive in. Um. <clears throat> So valuable opinions make people rich. And what I was kind of to say too is like your opinion doesn't need to be expressed for you to, you know, because a lot of people, there's a lot of people that don't express themselves. They don't want to put their fucking opinion out there. They don't want you to know their thought process because that's theirs, man. That's theirs. Like what they think is like sacred and it's very powerful and it's very, uh, you know, it's whenever you don't like express everything that's going on in your mind. You know, especially if you're really smart, that can help you more than it can help other people. And some people want to help other people and some people don't. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you have a big idea, you know what I'm saying? And you don't want to like tell everyone or whatever. And you're trying to, you know, build upon something. You know what I'm saying? And so that's another thing. Um, But me, I just, you know, I'm one of the people to just throw everything out there and just throw it all on the plate and be like, hey, I don't give a fuck. I don't need to save any for myself here. Have at it. You know, it's a buffet. You know, eat up, eat up, you know, you know, just come, come and get it. Ding, 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 dinner bell. So, you know, uh, 